It is day 90. We have a currently highly contaminated rain in our settlement. And with that, welcome back to, yeah, to end zone once more. Uh, closing in on the 100 days. That's pretty great. The highly contaminated rain we can wash away with irrigators. irrigators. So far, so good. We might be actually checking out where we have some patches like this one here that are not super clean. It's fine if a few people are getting sick, right? I'm not going to have an irrigator just for one fisherman. Um, that would be a bit out of out of league. But other than that, I think, yeah, the, the most of my settlement here is actually in good hands. Now, we have also here this electric power pole that I'm still going to scavenge. And yeah, while well, speaking about scavenging, that's actually one of the things that we we probably should have a look at because right now we do have some scrap on board that's only though because we just traded some of that in right we have two refiners now consuming a lot of scrap they're both electrified as well and we also have over here gosh this game looks beautiful especially when it's raining um and we have also these recyclers here that we of course continue to keep working this should in theory stabilize my production in total even though in some areas we already have a lot of plastic now. Um, that's fine though. Capping resources is not so bad in my opinion. But scrap is, in, is, is finite actually. It's, it's finite. So it's going down. Uh, we have longer distances now to travel to get to them. We're dismantling here one of the end zones right? that we no longer need. A, a destroyed bunker. It's actually a shame that we would destroy something like that. Let's move over there. Mm, probably, probably. Let's keep the end zone available there. I don't know why. Just have a, a certain taste for it. And over here, we also should have a another recycler. There it is. This is actually out of business. So let's find it something new again. That's not enough here. And yeah, look at that. It would need to take a long distance here to get to, to stuff, right? So it's taking long and longer. There it is. The scrap catcher has been researched. So this is one of my major new breakthroughs. Without, unfortunately, we're out of knowledge. Now, I could check it up. Do we have something where new knowledge would be coming in? No, unfortunately not. We have, once again, the radiation protection here. We do need to produce some more hard liquor. By the way, I probably should assign another pop to finish this quest there. All right, this quest is taking some 10 days. It would give me a huge boost and also lots of alcohol. Why not? Uh, let's build us some more pops, right? We have one only right now. And of course, we can have several of these. And yeah, let's have another pop probably... Probably here. Closer to the... Where we're getting a bit closer here to the... Electricity area, right? And then I could also have a pop down here by the... By the industry zone or where the industry zone is actually coming in. Like somewhere here. Or actually also here. This is a good location for a pop. For a second pop then right here in the city center where we already have lots of service buildings uh this one here probably yeah we probably will need an irrigator for this though let's go ahead with that water eight thousand. that's okay uh this one is actually pretty useful because we of course want to expand then also a bit further we can use this whole area here for more city expansion and yeah actually we can need it so let's go ahead and build me some more cabins um, let's build me two more here. There we have actually a a well, so I'm not going to have anything here. And then we can just go ahead and have us another road over into this direction. And this continues over here, so we can also finish that. Oh, by the way, we could build sturdy houses right away, of course. There's no no use in actually having the, the lower version, so I can just skip this once again. And get me sturdy houses here, please. Two of them should be fine. And here, this one actually needs to have a road removed. That's going to take a while as well. Now it's nighttime again. Speaking about nighttime, yeah, we have electricity in the houses, right? And we have the batteries, but at the moment they're not lasting us through the night. We just need one more since the refiners that we have installed actually consume quite a bit. And of course, every single additional building we we build is yeah going to put a strain on my batteries there further so let's have another battery then here so this is the row of batteries that we'll have and that's five then that should be fine hopefully Taylor task has been completed do we have any more tasks here unfortunately not all right so the pop is something that is in the way for this and then also we still have that town center upgrade for this however yeah let's go ahead and have the scrap the scrap collectors I mean the 
scrap catchers. There it is. A scrap catcher catches scrap that slowly whirls around. This occurs particularly effectively during sandstorms. The scrap catcher must be located within the working area of a scrapyard in order to cart away the caught scrap. Now, we do have a, a scrapyard here that is actually pretty far away now from any kind of deposits or yeah, resources. So it's this one. Look at that. It's that distance here. And we can use the scrapyard now to finally do this, right? So here we have some tiny space available. So let's go ahead. Mm, I have no idea right now if we need an irrigation plan for this, but we'll we'll try it out. And then we have the scrap catcher. Oh, they're actually bigger than it, I thought. Let's get rid of this road again and build it first. Scrap catcher, there you go. And it does cost me quite a bit, actually, quite a lot of scrap. Uh, especially and yeah we can have then let's have some four here right so we definitely will need around four at least and let's build the dirt road so this is then for one of my scrap yards right and once this has been built it will then just automatically collect scrap and my scrap yard can then gather it so it might actually be also a good idea to have the scrap yard right next to it unfortunately we cannot move buildings so we'll need to dismantle the other the, the other one and this one we have then just here collecting the scrap. And I hope this is, yeah, that's an irrigation plant here. We have very high radiation here. So since the workers will be in this area, we might actually need another one then. Yeah, will not be the end of the world. There you go. To so also have a, a road connection here. You don't need to have a road connection for these things to work. It just makes things way faster for my villages to, to move around. And there you go. We need to remove radiation first. We need to chop down any trees. Scare away the buffalo cows. And then start with the building process there too. We've got lots of builders so this should actually be finished quickly. And then we also finished the pub quest. With that we get some additional alcohol and another confidence boost. Uh, I would like to continue with some pastures. So in this case here it's all about, of course, variety, food variety. Uh, we do have the irrigation plant here, perfect. We can go ahead with another pasture. Probably can squeeze in two if I'm careful. This one here needs to go. Yeah, the plants we don't really need in this area. And then we can have a pasture here. All right, once again, we need to get rid of the roads. Road is a bit in the way. Other than that, looking for... Well, actually, we built the, the pastures over here. And I would also like to have a look at more research missions. Advanced school research. Oh, that's... I thought I would get a knowledge point. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, advanced school is actually something that we can build soon. Yep. We are right now researching the barricades for the raiders. Um, This is actually a quick one. And then we should be able to move towards the school, which also only takes one Research point. Why is this taking so long? Cloth, uh, cloth is something that's still lacking in this one. Metal and plastic, yeah, lots of rare stuff here. We are swimming in scrap right now, that's great. I'm hoping that this one is actually not powered. Uh, 500 is a lot to ask for. Why is it not receiving electricity though? We're moving all the way over. Ah, I see it's connected to blackout building already. So in this case here, I mean, why is there a blackout in the first place? Oh, this one's not connected with the general network. A tricky problem. Not really. We can just build one pole here and this should be fine. Barricade has been researched. Next up on the line, let's go ahead with the advanced school. There it is. An upgraded school fully educates children in all subjects. The educational training also occurs distinctly faster than at a normal school. Let's go ahead. This once again, though, consumes quite a lot of resources. And... Really would like to see if this is working now. So, the pole is in construction. Let's actually prioritize it. And there it is. And with that, they're all connected now. No blackout anymore. It's actually affecting quite a lot of wells, recyclers, and of course, the refiner here. Alright, oh, yeah, that's a surprise. We also have the scrap catchers now at this point. Three of them already working. As you can see, they're now collecting scrap. So now I can go ahead with 
uh, my scrapyard here and just move over it and it will start to collect. And we'll just see if that's enough or if we need a second scrap collector then. A scrap yard for these four. I think this will not be enough. I mean, it's right next to them. So they can just go to the nets now and collect the scrap right away. That's making things so much easier. And another thing I should be doing is having a warehouse then. Also somewhere here. Close to the refiners and close to my scrap area. Because this, of course... This area is growing, right? So we're going to have more of these here then over time, of course. And also then more collectors that are going to do the job then for us. Perfect. And by now, also the advanced school is coming along. And my research station, unfortunately, we cannot upgrade this research station. And there we have it. This gives me another boost. But of course, also way more important, I want to upgrade them. This school here and this school and while we're at schools we probably should build two more that's my my gift to the community two more advanced schools we should be able to afford it so let's go ahead and have another one a bit further outside here perhaps that's a good spot for it and probably also then one here hmm there's actually this road connection that i would like to keep still yeah over here by the by the lake Oh, highly irradiated zone. You don't want to have your kids there. Unfortunately, I will also need to have a an irrigation plant somewhere here. To wash it all down. Alright, the cemetery has lots of capacity still. Perfect. I don't know where people are going, right, once they're dying. They sink towards the center of the earth and you have more space uh, be, uh, above them. Food is constantly capping, so this is not something I need to worry about. And yeah, we have a lot of scrap. That's great to see. And this actually gives me the incentive to build more refiners now. So this one, that we actually have a well, so I will need to keep a bit of a distance there. Let's build two more of these guys. And the workforce we have anyway, so this is also not a big deal. And while all of this has been constructed, we can go ahead and have another block of sturdy houses then. Right here where we have our irrigation plant already. Probably then also here. Ah, we'll need more irrigation then as well in this area. If I want to keep those people clean. Let's just see. Hmm. Tricky. I'm just going to not build a house there. Because for one house, having an irrigation plant just for the house... Seems a bit of a waste there to me. Yeah, and there it is. Also the school. The advanced school now. Houses up to 30 children per school. Holy cow, that's a lot. And as we can see, it has now the training focus on all four focuses that we have. So reduced handling in clothing or reduced well, clothing consumption, reduced tools consumption, more productivity, and also extra badges, even though that we don't really need. Um, those schools, yeah, since we have three of them now, are four of them. Yeah, none of them is full at the moment. We have 109 children, but this actually does the job just fine. Uh, we can now use the additional capacity in food, water, resources that we have to just generally build more houses then, right? So there is another area here by the lake and then we also have another spot here. Radiation-wise, this is fine. So I could go ahead with two more houses. Three more houses here. No, this one not. Don't want to have too much there. All right, another epidemic has broken out. This is unfortunately something that I yeah, can't control really. Other than constantly boosting it, which is also a bit annoying over time. There is another upgraded or another shelter that we can actually upgrade. Let's upgrade two more. This should solve the housing problem for quite some time then. And unhappy settlers, you don't have you're not supposed to be unhappy. Things are working out. Where are you complaining? Two more refiners online. There they are. Outside of radiation, perfect. We just need to boost them. Uh, that's a thousand more electricity. Hmm probably need more production then or electricity generation now let's go ahead and connect it with my power poles should actually then connect just fine with those guys all 
All right, two knowledge points again. Uh, I would like to use this to also have now an upgraded workshop. We can go ahead and upgrade all our workshops with that and significantly boost the output without building in a new industry right away. And look at how quickly it's all changing. Uh, we have a lot of metal and cloth now in, so I would like to increase the production limits to 700 each. Just so that we have more of them in stock, right? So it's really just the clothing and the tools now that's lacking a bit. And I would like to also use this opportunity to upgrade now my town center to a town hall, a proper one. We have everything here ready for action. And this will then also finish my quest for this one here with a huge confidence boost. Also, this will look much nicer, of course. Another raider attack is imminent. Uh, we're buying them off for now. Oh, there's also another trader. Ah, chicken! Let's go ahead with that. Perfect. And sulfur for chickens. Why not? He's going to accept. And with that, I can actually change goats then here to chicken once we have them in store. And have another type of food then growing with eggs. Yeah? Having a nice dinner here in post-apocalyptic end zone world. And after a while, all the resources are in. It takes quite some time. And with that, we completely dismantle the old building, including the bus, unfortunately, and build us a proper town center, town hall for everybody. And there it is. The town hall is now open to all settlers. It marks the start of a time of prosperity and self-determination. And starting now, the residents of the settlement are going to state their demands. It's natural that not every concern can be taken care of, but no doubt you'll make the right decisions. And maybe you can learn something from our DS chief. And budding strength. However, most of us consider our settlement to be too small to face the challenges of the future. And with that, we have to start a monument. Right, so we need to reach now some certain amount of settlers there and build then the foundation of the beacon landmark. That would be a monument. I've already built it in my last ever Let's Play, so I can't promise you that we are going to yeah, build it once more. I mean... We also have now these demands here, right? So we need to view that and we have the option here between do we want to go into joints <laughs> or do we want to go into soap? Let's go into joints for now. Um, I mean, of course, we can go both way at some point. We have a lot of hemp though already and with that we can build that or we can go ahead with this. Mm, the demand is there and the problem though is with this we don't have the knowledge points. So I need one knowledge point. We need to wait it out a bit. We could also have a look if there is some knowledge that we get out of this. So a delicate little plant. Let's provide enough material so we can get this mission finished. It's just a seed. A coffee bean. Holy cow, that's actually good. Let's go ahead and get me some coffee. I don't even know what coffee beans would do. Can be harvested from fields that are needed to produce the luxury item coffee. Alright. I don't think we have the research for that yet, but I can already go ahead and harvest them. That's okay. Alright. Settler demand. Trader has arrived again with the sugar beet. Of course, let's go ahead with this. Because why not? You never know when it's not coming back again. Alright. Also, do we have the chicken? There we have them. Uh, let's actually... Yeah, get rid of the wild boar. And we can slaughter the remaining animals there for 1,000 food. And get us the chickens in. Also, the upgrade was successful. So we can go ahead now and upgrade our buildings. And that is my workshops. And of course, we like to do this. The four here. And the two here. Right, and with that, we have then the upgraded workshop. They don't have electricity yet? Nope. So we also should provide this once more to these guys here. There you go. And we definitely will need now more power. Right, so let's go ahead and also have us some additional power plant. And probably also then the batteries respectively. There they are. The upgraded workshops are coming along. There's now four that we can squeeze in here. And let's just do this as well, technicians. Have them fully staffed. And on top of that, 
it also gets electricity now, boosting its productivity another 50%. So with that, hopefully, we should have solved now the tools problem. And there it is, also in the prosperity tree now, so that's the DLC. Once you have the town hall, um, you can unlock into this tech tree. And there we have it now, the joint that we can now, yeah, then produce in pops. Doesn't take long for us to also finish the research on joints, and we can now switch the the work mode of all the pups to yeah. Instead of hot liquor, they're going to get us some joints in there, and I will just have to do this with them. And smoking is officially our new religion. Unfortunately, I think for this quest it will be too late. It's very short the timer for this, so we researched it really rather quickly and have three pups fully working now on that, so we'll just see if we can actually make 600 points out of it. With the next two science points, we're going into upgrade tailor shop. This gives me then a reinforced backpack. Okay, this is not something we need, and oh, this is pretty good. All settlers increase the durability of their tools and clothing by 25%, but move slower. Mm, that's okay. That might be another big jump then. All right, but the research first. And we've also finished all of the solar collectors there now, powering the, the grid during daytime. Also all the batteries are finished, so this should really last us then. Yeah, 300 of 600 we were able to do, and we get a toll here of 2,000 water and food, because we were not able to fulfill this quest. Yeah, it was really tight. All right, a new trade we could do. Radiation protection is my go-to here usually, and iodine pills since we have it available. Lots of wheat, we have too much of that anyway. Let's get rid of all of it, and then some scrap, and this actually does the job. Scrap is something we really have a lot now. I'm super surprised with that. And though, what I can see is this one scrapyard is probably enough for those four scrap catchers. So before we're running out of scrap again, due to some unseen circumstances. Let's go ahead and build us some more of these scrap catchers. Um, another block of four, probably. Over here, together with then also another scrapyard once more. Right, and this, let's actually give this one an irrigation plant so that these are also a bit cleaned, right? Especially the scrapyard though, as we're moving also into this area. Oh god, a new demand. Do I need wanna know what it is? We need to, right? Because if I it's the the demand itself also has a timer that we urgently need to look at. So new medicine also here, produce medicine, that's okay. Uh nothing else that we could do here for now. I don't wanna have a new decree. Um we definitely need to provide more housing towards a thousand. We are at eight hundred people now. And there's also the upgrade for my tailors. Holy cow, I'm looking forward to this and let's upgrade them. All of them. All of the tailors. Nine of them we have. And they're hopefully then doing more. We also have a lot of coal. Cloth, of course, we have plenty of and plastic too. So I could actually go for the radiation suit on a lot of them now. More durable. And let's just switch this for those four here. They're also electrified and they're going to be upgraded. All right, all right, soap uh, and soap produced. Can I get rid of this again? Yes. Let's wait for this uh, one knowledge point to pop, right? And then we can take the demand because demand we still have two and a half days left over and then I can do this and pop it and then it should be fine. Hopefully, hopefully we have then enough soap. Scrap tools, coal, wood, nope, actually nothing. Let's make a, a minor deal here. So just that we get our reputation up. So far so good, we are growing, uh, there's still one major building that we're missing right now that we're going to, to add and we continue onwards here, stay tuned.